It was down at old Joe's Bowhoon In a corner by the square The usual crowd was assembled And Big Joe McKinney was there He was standing at my shoulder His eyes, they were bloodshot red to the crowd around him These were the very words he said I went down to St. James Infirmary And I saw my baby there She's laid out on a cold white table So cold, so white, so fair Oh, God bless her Wherever she may be She must search this whole wide world over She'll never find another sweet man like me Oh, when I die, when I go, I want you to bury me In my hot tub, Stetson Head Put a $20 gold piece on my watch chain The good Lord who know I've died Stand in bed And I want six Crap shooters as my Paul Bevers Some chorus girls to sing me A song Put a jazz band On my hush wagon So we can race as we roll along Roll out your rubber tired carriage. Roll out your old time hat. Twelve men they go into the graveyard. Only eleven of them are coming back. And now that I've told my story, I'll take another shot of booze. If anyone should happen to ask you, well, I got them dying crap shooters blues. Hello, friends. This week we are breaking down one of my favorite blues standards, St. James Infirmary, also known as the Gambler's Blues to many Americans. Um, this song has a very long history, so long, in fact, that someone bothered to write a book about the trajectory of this song. This comes from a song cycle called The Unfortunate Rake, and this is really the only melodic content from that that remains um, from the UK in the 1700s. But this was taken and, and became a popular tune known as St. James Infirmary, and St. James Infirmary itself is a, a fictional, although based on um, real life times, um, about a syphilis hospital, because you have to remember that back in this time period, penicillin was not around, so syphilis was generally a death sentence. And, and the song is generally thought of as to be about a merchant marine coming back and finding out that his lover is in St. James Infirmary and thus has syphilis and thus he has syphilis and coming to terms with his own death um, as well as the death of his lover. Um, so there's a lot of history behind this tune, but quarterly, it's really just a basic minor blues. We only have three chords in here. Um, and I should note at the top of this that there are many different lyric variations to this, as well as chordal variations. So what I'm playing here is not necessarily gospel by any means. And what I sing here, there are so many different versions. The lyrics that I used are based off of the Louis Armstrong recording, which is, is known as St. James Infirmary, but the, the lyrics are actually more akin to what we call the Gambler's Blues, which is the American version of this that came through the Port of New Orleans um, in the early 1900s. Really the same song, same melody, slightly different lyrics. We have the whole thing about sitting in Old Joe's bar room. Um, so what I actually want to talk about is a different way to play this tune. We have all these nice open position chords that we can use, but in most versions of this, I and mean, I'll point you to Cab Calloway specifically, um, have a very specific bass line to this that we can cop on you. And I didn't do it in the play along version because the chords go up the neck and we try to keep it simple, but I want to show that to you now so that you can utilize this in the future if you'd like, as well as some other chord substitutions 
um, that you can use in here if you would so like. So our baseline that we have, this is a sort of blues dirge. We are walking up the baseline. So while we have the same chords, we have D minor, A seventh, D minor, A seventh. We're going back and forth for these first couple bars, but the baseline would be D, E, F, E, D, E, F, E. So that's what we have in that that basic part of it. And the question is, how do we cop this and build chords around it? So we can start out on this standard D minor chord. You could also use a D minor seventh here by placing your pinky on the third fret of your A string. That works just as well. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can use that just for a little extra extension in there. So what we'll do is, since the bass notes would generally be half notes, we'll pluck each one and then we will strum the chord. So it's gonna sound like this, we'll pluck every note will be on our C string. So here's your D minor chord. So we'll pluck and then strum. And then you know we have to go up to this E here. So what we're going to use is the A seventh bar chord shape that's based around what our G seventh voicing is. So if you take your G seventh plate without your first finger, slide it on up to the fourth fret, bar across the second fret, and there's the note, the chord that you need. And you'll see that this E the fourth fret of our C string is already down. So it'll sound like this, the first two bars. And then to go up to a D minor seventh voicing, we will use D minor seventh here as opposed to a D minor, um, just to make it easier to play. Um, we're going to use our minor seventh variation that's the same as A minor seventh. So we're just going to bar across the fifth fret. Our F is on the fifth fret of our C string. And then we're going back to the E, right, over the A seventh chord. So we don't really have to do anything. It's the same exact voicing we just used. So our first couple bars will look and sound like this with the bass line thrown in. And you can vamp this up front before you play the tune. Anytime that we have that little section that is D minor to A seventh, we would have that repetitious bass line underneath. We wouldn't change anything until we got to the B flat seventh chord. Now the thing is this B flat seventh, we play it down here generally, but you can play this in numerous other places. <laughs> So we can go up and have that F in the bass. We're using the same voicing we're using for the A seventh, but now it's a B flat. So we'll slide it up one fret. So our voicing will be three, five, four, three. And then we can walk it right down to the A seventh chord again, and we can continue plucking that same bass line really in there as well. And then we can switch over. One other thing that's nice to do when you're not playing the, when you're not singing, when we have that space in between, is that we can take our A7 and turn it into an A7 sharp five, just to give a little bit more instability to that dominant chord. So our sharp, sharp five, we'll take the E, the fifth of our A7, and raise it to an E sharp, which is an enharmonic equivalent of an F. It's the same note as F. So if we have our A7 chord here, our sharp five, the E sharp will be the first fret of our E string. So that just gives a little bit more movement. Listen to just the first line with these little changes thrown in. And as we get here, we have this F seventh chord, which is not always there in every single version of the tune, but the F seventh is the dominant chord in the B flat, the key of B flat, which we're going to next. So it gives this, this really nice leading tone. So the nice thing we're doing this walk up here is we end here, and here's our F seventh chord. We're already in this D minor position right here. All we have to do is add the middle finger to add the E flat on the sixth fret of our A string, and we have an F seventh chord. 
And then we can walk down our B flat seventh that we use this voicing for straight down like this. And let me play the entire form for you with these substitutions in here so you can hear how the voice leading just works a little bit better than just strumming through the regular old chords like we generally would do. These little things can really help spice up an arrangement. So it sounds like this. And other than that, we can really just strum through with quarter notes. That's the nice thing about these blues tunes, is what's really important is that four to the floor, sort of fat, warm quarter note that we can get with our thumb for the vast majority of the time to really propel this piece. So take some time with this and work on these substitutions. Look up some different lyric sets, maybe some different chords that you can use over top of this. There are so many different versions out there and find the version that really works for you. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you soon.